Good morning, all you lovely people of the book. So, Lee Williams did a, uh, a challenge with Jimbo and Jay the other week um, with a hot curry using um, a sauce, hot sauce that I've made. And it was suggested that we do <coughs> another challenge. So, um, I'm making another hot sauce. I do not recommend people do this at home. The smell already and the fumes off these chilies is actually burning my throat. As you can see, gloves. I don't want to be touching these here. So we've got some, some garlic, some normal red pepper, and then we've got in here Carolina Reapers, ghost chilies, habaneros, um, a load of bird's eye chilies. These are all ones that I've dried in a, in a dehydrator. And then we've got fresh. These ones here, each one of these registers over a million on the Scoville scale, up to that nasty little fucker there, 1.4 million on the Scoville scale. So I've made the brine. So I'm going to make, make you know, a fermented hot sauce. So I've made the brine already. 2% uh, brine. So I weighed all the, all the peppers and the garlic and everything to get the weight. Um, and then done the brine for that. So into, into the jar here. Go. That's the dry ones. I'll pick them up as I go along. Then we add all of these fresh ones. The garlic. Jesus Christ. <coughs> all of these go in. Get them all in. This is, I thought the other one was bad when I, uh, I'm not looking forward to when I blitz this one. I have to get the steamer out once I've done this. Clean all this off. So that's that. So, <clears throat> as you can see now, got all the chilies in there, the fresh ones, the dried ones, and then we've got the brine. So this is, this is how traditional hot sauces are made. So your Tabasco and all of those are traditionally made this way. So we cover them in brine. And then, fucking hell. <coughs> oh, that clears the sinuses on a Sunday morning. And then I've got some bits of the pepper that I've done. And these are what's called a follower. So they go on top of all of those in there. And what they act as, and I'll show you in a second. And push that down. And then got a little ramekin which fits perfectly in there, push him down, and then when we close the lid,
what it does is that those peppers keep all the chilies in the brine for the fermentation and that is actually burning my throat pretty bad um, and I think it's actually the capsicum has gone through the glove like I say I do not recommend doing this at home and when I make the chili for Jimbo and Jay I do not accept any responsibilities for any danger harm pain that they suffer I, I, I don't I'm not even going to taste it when it's when it's finished I'm definitely not going to use it myself because I'm not fucking stupid well I am but not that stupid that as you've seen there's over a hundred chilies gone in there that register over a million on a Scoville scale. To put it into context, you go and have an hot dog or a burger and they say jalapenos, they put jalapenos on. 30 to 40,000 on a Scoville scale. If you have a, um, for argument's sake, pity pity chicken, less than 100,000 on a Scoville scale. If you have um, jerk chicken and you're using um, Scotch bonnets, three, four hundred thousand on a Scoville scale. These ones are the hottest chilies in the world. They can cause pain, they can cause suffering, and they will hurt you if you disrespect them. I give them respect. <coughs> Like I say, I'm going to get the steamer out now, steam all this down to get rid of any traces of the capsicum because I don't like pain. I don't like suffering. So that'll be in there now for about 10 days. It'll then be blitzed and it'll make a paste. And then with the brine juice that's in there, that'll mix through to um, create the consistency like your Tabasco and all. And then you can use that. And like I say, it's the idea of it is to just put a drop in there. So if you're making a curry or a chili con carne, you, you literally put pipettes of this stuff in there. Because otherwise, it'll kick your head in. Takes no prisoners. Like I said, up to 1.6 million on a Scoville scale. On those. Um, I'm actually in a bit of pain at the moment. That's burning my nose, it's burning my throat. And my hands, even though I've got gloves on. As you can see shaking that capsicum when I've been cutting it the membrane just inside it's not seeds the membrane just inside that chili is where all of the, the pure capsicum has and when you think the pepper spray military grade pepper spray is around about 4 million on the Scoville scale bear spray is about the same as well and when you think how that incapacitates people in there, you've got over a hundred chilies that are over a million. You know, that's it, should have a hazard warning sign on it, really. Anyway, enjoy the day, people. Let's hope for a county win. I'll be having my um, alcohol free beer while I watch it later. Got the little one who's still in bed, snoring away. So I've done this while she's out of the way, so this chili and all don't affect it so like i said people it's already burning my nose my throat and i got shakes and that's without even tasting it enjoy the day be careful enjoy what you do if you don't enjoy what you do do something else give gratitude for what you do have don't chase all the bollocks have a good day, people. Love you all.